Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, The Blood Samurai. My name is Sam and today we're back playing the Norp Apolog. So now I did prestige and stuff. There are some there's some things I did off uh, off recording, mainly because my recording for it just completely corrupted and well okay, so it wasn't off recording. I tried to record it and my whole computer had a hissy fit after like during the recording. And the whole recording basically got corrupted, and I just can't use it. So, I mean, there, as you can see here, look at all the other talents. Really nothing much was missed. Like, there's so much to this game that there there really wasn't anything that was missed. Um, but anyways, let's go through some of the talents that I unlocked. So I got Hiking Buddy, which uh, basically makes it so that my... The mountaineers that get sent out, they'll have a friend with them. Um, they're half as effective as um, at digging as the mountaineers, but you know it's still it's still a buff. You know it, they still do. It's still going to be a 1.5 times more um, more digging. Um, okay, every seventh house you build, build another for free. So you basically get two Norps for free after building seven houses, and every seven houses you build, you get one for free um and this is a big one i think a super hot and popcorn are gonna be i think super hot's gonna be the next one i go for but popcorn so fire damage now generates shards that fly much 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 farther so fire damage has a range of eight to nine instead of zero to three so you guys will see the how overpowered that is i'm gonna get the archery range right away I'm going to kind of just try to save up for um, for the fire damage. Because fire is absolutely insane now. Um, I mean, it's not like... <clears throat> it's not going to carry you to end game by any means. But compared to like how it was before, it's so much better now. Um, so yeah, we just got to have to... We kind of have to just save up. Um... For the 650, once we get the 650, then, you know, obviously there will be a major noticeable change. Uh, another thing that is different is the modifier. So, increase the multiplier by 0.1 for every four employed NORPs. Now, it seems like it's actually 0.2 for every four employed NORPs. Um, you get one bonus NORP every 10 minutes. And you unlock auto housing, which will automatically buy houses whenever you have sh uh, enough shards for it. So yeah, you as you guys can see, it's 2.6. So it kind of seems like it goes up by 0 0.2, not or not zero, not it goes up by 0 0.2, not 0 0.1. Um, but that's just something that I've noticed from that. Um, I'm gonna save up for the fire, and then. And then I'll start upgrading the runners. I, that's what I'm going to do, I think. That's going to be the plan. So we just need to kind of wait a little while and we'll see how things go. Uh, last video was like 30 minutes. I think now that I have a little bit more experience and I'm going into this kind of knowing what I'm doing... Uh, I'm going to make the video longer. Probably going to have it be like an hour. Um, just because I genuinely could just play this game for that long. This game is such... It's so fun. It's just like a minimalist type game. It's so casual. You could just play this whenever you have time. And, you know, I highly recommend this game to basically anyone. Um, because it's actually, it's just that good. It really is. I, if there's anyone out there looking for just a fun game to play for, like, hours and hours, this is definitely one of those games. And yeah, watch the fire. Watch the difference. Now look how far the fire flies. The fire flies all the way over here. It's insane. <laughs> uh, let's build some more houses, I guess. Um... Yeah, let's get some more runners. Let's increase their capacity because they're going to need a bigger capacity with with this fire damage. Um, and then I think I'm going to go for a prestige as soon as I possibly can. Um, just so I can 
get the get uh, the super hot prestige because I think that's going to be really good. Um, let's try to let's go for probably going to go for the rock analysis lab so I can get the um, the weak point um, upgrade. Uh, here's the building. So, yeah, so f I need 500. Okay. So, yeah, the fire doesn't produce more shards. It just produ it produces the same amount of shards, but now their range is further. So, yeah, don't get, don't get this mistaken. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't increase the amount of shards it produces. It just, you know, increases the range of the shards that it does produce. So yeah, right now our collection is pretty crazy. Um, so we're going to try to... Or our, yeah, our collection is pretty crazy. So we're going to try to increase our, uh, our production to match it. Because, yeah, it, it's like, even though it does seem like our col our collection is slower than our production, it's just because of the temporary boost in damage that we got from, uh, from the weak point thing. Which, the weak point thing doesn't happen very often, so... You're gonna want to get other things, like the Coco Cafe or the Nor Propulsion Lab. Nor Propulsion Lab isn't my favorite with those bombers, but... You know what, we're going to get that. And you know what, while we're at it, we'll get the Slam Club. Let's just get everything. Let's just build everything, because why not? Upgrade, unlock. Can I dismiss this stuff, or I guess it goes away by itself. Okay. So, yeah, so now these guys have a new protocol that they've unlocked. So let's build some more housing, I guess. Um... Get some mountaineers. Um. Oh wow. Yeah, now it's increasing very quickly. Let's improve their digging. We could go for. Should we go for bombers? I think slammers are gonna do a little bit better, at least early on. We'll turn off meditation because, basically, in case anyone doesn't know what meditation does. It just um, makes it so that the slammers will pause before they jump. And then when they do jump, they'll send the shards flying out further. Kind of like what the, the fire does. So, the mountaineers, what they'll do is they'll climb to tall points in the shard piles. So, you see like there's like mountain like right here. And then they'll just start throwing the shards closer to where the runners, um, where the runners are. Uh, we could get, uh, we could get robotics, why not? And yeah, our multiplier is incredibly high right now. Um, let's improve their digging a little bit more. Let's add some more jumps. Let's add another slammer. And while we're at it, let's get a bomber. Bombers aren't really my favorite, but you know what? We might as well spread the love. We'll just start getting everything and kind of see what works, what doesn't. Uh, I think the fire is probably going to be the best option for quite some time. The bombers really not going to do anything. The slammers not really going to do anything. Um, so, I don't know. I mean, I'm just looking for more synergies, really. So, like, you have things like the Ultra Boost, uh, the Combo Chance, you need the the Propulsion Lab to be able to get the Combo Chance. So, there's a Synergy right there. Um, we could get some Drones, but I don't think Drones are probably necessary at this point in time. Because, honestly, if we want to increase Collection, we can just increase their Capacity, and the Runners will be perfectly fine. See, I don't fully understand what the bar below the rock means. I think that's re uh, relating to the... Oh, that relates to the weak point thing. 
Oh, that makes so much more sense now. Okay. So that's just... Yeah, so it's just... Okay, okay. So yeah, you can see those mountaineers going, just pushing the shards forward. Um, which is actually pretty nice. It helps out the runners a lot. Um, let's see. Honestly, things like increasing the weak point frequency are is probably something that we definitely want to get. Um, let's see. Digging with, not really necessary. Combo chance, again, not really necessary. I'm curious what the Gun V Rock thing does. So, I am I think I'm going to go for the weak point frequency. I'm going to go for that upgrade, and then I'm going to go for the Gun V Rock. I think I'm, I'm going to try to save up for that. Because the weak points are actually insanely good for production. Um, so, I'm thinking if I can get, you know, get more weak points, then... Yes, it's going to be a temporary boost in production, but... It's going to be happen happening more frequently, so, you know. So, we're going to, so, so we're just going to have those big boosts more often. Which is going to be really nice. That fire is incredibly good as well. I wish there was a way to get more archers. Like, if you could just have, like, a, like, <laughs> like a ton of archers right here. More than just the three. And yeah, these bombers, they're okay, but they're not my favorite. Um, I wonder if there's, like, any, like, secret things. Like, clicking? Does clicking do anything? Doesn't seem like it. Well, we got a weak point, so we'll send that out. We almost have enough uh, to actually get a weak point frequency. That, uh, the Yeah, that upgrade. Oh, yeah, we just need more housing. That's right. Okay. Well, we lost out on a little bit of money, but we'll be fine. It's fine. Uh, whenever those guys come up, then we can get that thing again. Yeah, I mean, I'm telling you, uh, any upgrades to any upgrades to that fire, I am all here. F I'm here for it. I would absolutely love to see more upgrades to the to the fire. That's why I'm like that's why I'm kind of eager to go for um like another prestige whenever I get the opportunity to because I want to get that prestige and immediately go for that uh, talent point which increases um, fire damage. I think that's going to be incredibly good if I can get that thing going. Let's see. Anything? Anything else? The only problem is, yeah, I, I mean, I'm, I have enough Norps for a lot of these upgrades. I could just put Norps in a lot of the buildings and just be like, hey, here's some more Norps. Here's some more units for your building, but I don't know. I feel like, I feel like, because Norps, you can only have so many Norps. And at some point, it's like the amount of Norps you have is, is just off the, like, you're going to have a lot of Norps, but it's going to cost so much to build more housing for them, which is the part that I'm worried about, is just the, the cost um, so, I don't know. Improve digging. Mount. See, production is what I need the most of right now. Collection is fine. Collection is going to completely out, outrank, it's going to outperform my production and what you're limited by is your collection in this game that is what you're limited by how fat how quickly can you collect the shards that you're producing if you're producing uh, a thousand uh or three thousand shards 
but you're only collection you're only collecting a thousand then you're gonna you can keep producing three thousand but the most you're ever gonna collect at a time is a thousand so eventually you're going to be very you're, you're always limited by your collection so but if your collection is outperforming your production then you also want to you know try to invest more into production you don't you don't want to keep going for, if you're collecting 3000 and you're only producing 1000 you don't want to keep putting in up putting like buying upgrades that are going to boost your collection to like 5000 10000 if all you're ever collecting is just 1000 so there's a very very you know you know, there's a line that you need to be careful on. You know, you don't want to, you don't want to, you know, lean too much to one side and then forget about the other side. You want to kind of stay in the middle. Um, that's where you're going to be you know, most comfortable at. That's where you're going to perform the best at is right, right dead in the middle. But obviously with this game, it's, it's pretty difficult to, uh, to do that. So... I'm com I'm conf uh, I'm confused. As you define to you according to your talent and upgrade choices, you can apply inspirations to you, improving them. That's pretty cool. Um, I don't know what reclamation speed is re is before compression occurs. While active, directors now add two point out mountaineers throw shards. Raise deal plus three damage. By hitting, hitting the rock with upgrade balloon. So yeah, these these things don't really seem that great. So I don't really care. The only thing that a uh, bigger pile maybe that honestly the only thing that I want is the inspiration thing. That's the only thing that actually sounds interesting. Um, same as the spray Gatler bullets on the seventh combo. It will propel all runners and the arrow maker forward in time by whenever the effect occurs. Reduce the time until the next for three seconds. Max weak spots are now a thousand. I don't quite understand what that means. Oh, like the max number of weak spots on your on the rock is a thousand? Is that what that's referring to? I'm assuming it is. Let's see, yeah, so I need production. Now, I could get the Gun V Rock, and I, I will get that. Uh, and we'll kind of see how that goes. So let's check out what this does. So you get a Gun V Rock thing, and you can buy Rifle Norps. Which, you know what? Let's get a Rifle Norp. He's got a gun. We got a, we got a gunner. Um, let's see, let's see. I'm not sure how much. So, how much damage does he do? Does it say? Rifle Norp shoot bullets that deal 5 damage with a range of 0 to 10. Bullets deal raw damage, which means they're not affected by the multiplier. Bullets damage their. Bullets double their damage on compression events. So, they only deal 5 damage. Eh, I don't know. That doesn't seem that great. How many bullets do they fire? Two? Okay, so they deal like 10 damage per shot and then they reload okay so yeah that's not great i mean it's okay i guess but like if we just you if you look i mean it's it's doing better than the bomber which makes sense we had to invest a little bit more into the rifle norp than we did into the bomber. Um, so I would kind of hope that he would do better, but we've invested. We invested so much more into the rifle norp, and he's still barely outperforming the bomber. And we could easily get way more bombers than we do rifle norps. So actually, okay, he's performing. Not significantly better, but a, a good a good chunk better than the than the bombers, and he's outperforming the slammers too, which is 
Understandable. We're up to Prestige 1. Uh, now I'm kind of questioning if I should actually... Should I... I mean, 2.5 times more damage on the fire. Like, 1.2 thousand, and that would get boosted up to 3,000? Ooh. Yeah, let's, let's take it. Let's take it. Let's take it. Let's go for it. You know what? We're just going to prestige now. Everything is returning back. Look at it. It's rewind time. It's like, it's, it's like YouTube rewind all over again. You guys remember that? Or I might just be old. I don't know. Uh. Okay, so now we have a, f a fourth talent point. Okay, and now we'll, yeah, we'll buy super hot with it. Okay, so it's not really going to help out our, like, beginning start, but it will, um, will at least do something, you know? It'll help a little bit. It'll help mainly, like, later on get us through, like... The early game, I would say. Help us uh, advance a little bit faster through the early game. It's not going to be, you know, the fastest start, but... It's going to be an okay start. Okay, let's get another runner. Get some more runners going. Then we can start building some more houses. Then we can start getting into production. Next house is 22. We'll get that guy going. So yeah, you just kind of want to have an influx of runners right at the start here because... You have, you know, you have a ton of shards on the ground, and your production, even just by clicking, just by holding down left click, is most likely going to be higher than your collection. Mainly because the shards are so much further away than they were, like, obviously, when you guys saw that the shards are getting absolutely launched, you know. So, so there is... Obviously, that, that part of it where the shards are much further away, it's going to take much longer um, for the runners to actually get to it. So that's why you want to have a ton of runners. Especially early on. So we're already up to nine runners, which is... Actually, pretty good. Um, probably could go for... Should we go for 10? We could go for 10. Now, our, our, our production is... Or our collection is enough, I think, right now. Now we want to work on the archery range next. I think it was 200 and then 4 Norps, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, archery range. While I'm at it, I'm just going to buy another runner. Yeah, we need to get, um, we definitely need to get fire arrows as quickly as we possibly can to really take advantage of that super hot upgrade. Um, and we'll, we'll see how strong it is. I'm hoping it's as good as I think it is. Knowing my luck, it probably won't be, but I'm I'm hope I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful. 
Honestly, probably just going to put in some more runners. Really, what I need to do is increase their capacity. But right now, their collection is already high enough. I don't need to really worry about that. Um... So I'm just gonna, like I said, I'm just gonna keep trying to save up, uh, trying to save up for the fire arrows. Hopefully here soon I should have enough for the fire arrows. Honestly, before their next volley, I hope I can get fire arrows. Probably not gonna quite make it, but it's gonna be, it's gonna be close. I'm not gonna be far off. Yep, see, right before their next volley, I got it. Oh, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Now they're shooting fire arrows. So, yeah. I mean, it's, yeah, I mean, now they're shooting more and it's going farther. But that is interesting. So, si okay, so that's where the, that's what the six times faster means. I was hoping that the six times faster would be, like, a six times multiplier. Um, but I guess it makes sense, you know, I guess that would be pretty overpowered if it was, if it was indeed a six times multiplier, um, rather than, okay, you, it produces 2.5 more, 2.5 times more shards, it just produces those shards six times faster. Um, it doesn't actually produce six times more shards on top of the 2.5 multiplier. But, you know, I guess it, it makes sense. It makes sense. Okay. Let's see. What do we want to get next? Okay, the rock analysis lab. Definitely. The... Uh, you know what? We could just get a bunch of things, honestly. I should have bought the house first, though. Let's buy some houses. Yeah, I should have bought the houses first, so then I could have just gotten the weak point thing right away instead of doing what I just did. Um, but it's fine. There we go. Really send those weak, those shards flying. Increase their capacity. Because now the fire's producing more. We got some weak point. We sent out, we sent out some weak point stuff um honestly the trick might be just save up weak point um like the weak points on the rock just save them up and then use them all at once um to get that prestige because the prestige only cares about okay you collect this many uh it only cares about how uh, your collection so if you have 10,000 shards sitting on the ground with not being collected then if you can get your collection up to 10,000 then you're going to get a prestige point compared to you're collecting so like it cares about how much you collect all at once rather than how much you collect over time so yeah I think I might actually start just saving my weak points um and then figure out what to do from there I think I think that's probably actually going to be the way that I'd go about it. I'm going to go for a weak point frequency, like, right away. Um, to, yeah, reduce how many... To, or to reduce the, the time in which I need, uh, for the, for the weak points. I think that's going to be pretty... I think that's going to come in handy. I'm hoping it will. I might just use... Uh, should I use the weak point thing now? I don't think so. Like, because the next one's going to be spawning in soon. So I'm not sure if I should just use it right away. For that, like, early... For that just quick boost. Or maybe I should save it. I think I'm actually going to save it. I'm going to kind of save weak points on, on the rock. Because, yeah, our production is definitely going down very quickly. Um, let's get the Slam Club. We got... Pretty much got everything. Um, let's send in a Bomber. Let's... Uh, don't really need Mountaineers right now. We'll buy some Slammers, though. 
So yeah, the fire is definitely going to keep carrying us through this part here. Um, especially like early on. Maybe it would actually be a better idea to put the Slamers closer. Uh, I guess it doesn't really matter actually. Because I think the Slammers keep going, right? I don't think they ever return back. I don't think any unit ever has to ever return back, right? Am I wrong in thinking that? I don't think... I don't think I am wrong. Let's increase their jumps. Buy some more housing. Look how freaking tall that... <laughs> that tower is getting over there, though. It would be a shame if someone <laughs> flew into it. Uh, I should not be making that type of joke. Um, oh, look how quickly that tower is coming down. Oh gosh. Um let's see, maybe go for Gun V Rock. Yeah, see the man is currently climbing will return home. Oh okay. Yeah, I mean, the Mountaineers don't do anything for production, so I don't think it's really that important to get them. At least not right now. Let's see, do we want to increase their speed? We could. I think I'm going to go for, like, the collection upgrades whenever I have some more weak points on here so I can get the prestige, and then I'll go for the upgrades. Because... Because, yeah, you you want to collect... on it. Actually, no, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to go for the speed now. Increase the capacity now. Honestly, thinking about maybe even going for more runners as well. So then we just get all everything, like, all at once. We just get some more runners. Because, yeah, these these weak points, if I, if I just send them all at once, then we're going to have quite a bit of collection and yeah that's what matters by increasing your collection rate this bar will fill up you acqu you accrue a talent point when it is full progress is kept between prestigious represented by the gray portion of the bar so yeah if we just send all of the weak points right now i think i'm gonna go for like 20 runners and I think at that point, I think I'll be happy, and I think I, I think that's when I'll send just send the weak points. I might save up for a fourth weak point, because then at least I'll have my twenty runners. I'll have their increased capacity. I'll have everything that I need, and the multiplier will be a bit higher and things like that. I think um, I think that's gonna be good. I wish it would say somewhere. Um, and say, like, how many Norps you've employed, because then that would, you know, make a little bit more sense for the multiplier, and you could kind of keep track a little bit better of how many more Norps you need for the next multiplier, things like that. I think that would be nice. Okay, so we're up to four, and yeah, we're just going to send the weak points. And we're going to watch our collection rate just go through the roof. So like I said, yeah, when you get the your collection rate really high. So then, yeah, so then there, there goes a prestige point. We might get a second one. Second one might be a little advantageous. It might be a little too... Too optimistic. Yeah, we're only going to get the one prestige point, which is perfectly fine. Um, definitely would need a lot more for, to get a second prestige point, but, hey, it's, I'm happy with that, I'm happy with that. 
And then now we got Rifle Norps. So we got, yeah, so we got the next prestige point. Let's see. So we we would get the inspiration thing. Um, we'll propel all runners and the arrow maker forward in time. Uh, whenever the effect occurs. So it's just the arrow maker. But that would buff the archery range. So if we get more bombers. Because then that would increase the amount of the the probability of the of one of those bombers having the time shift impact. Interesting. I think that might that might actually be the strategy then. Uh the gun v rock thing probably could do without next time. Um Coco Cafe could probably do without it as well. And just kind of focus on runners and that stuff. Okay. We're going to prestige. We're going to get inspiration. We're going to get, um, going to get the, oh, everything's, everything's getting sent back. <laughs> Look at the, <laughs> barely anything got sent back. Okay start let's get our talent point we got inspiration now nice so yeah we're gonna go for a time shift delivery and so yeah now we have inspiration so let's kind of see if that really does anything not sure if it will hoping it will but and also yeah the reclamation thing i'm not sure because we would get the plus five Norks from that one upgrade, but I have no idea what the reclamation thing is talking about. I don't know if the decreasing the reclam reclamation time is a good thing or not. I would hope it is, but I have no idea. Oh. Uh, runners attempt to destroy what the Mountaineers love. Per act Mountaineer. And see the effortless grace of the directors increases their. Oh, okay. So we could go for this thing then. Increase the. Interesting. So yeah, now they have like. Okay. That's cool. That's cool. Oh yeah, I should probably be buying some more houses. So I was like, I was just kind of focused on the. On the, uh, whatever, inspiration thing. I wasn't really paying attention to what they, what they actually did. Or, what, you know, I wasn't paying attention to the collection. I was just paying attention to the inspiration aspect. So, just, I'm assuming that works for everything? For all the buildings? Oh, I was nervous. Yeah. So, I'm hoping it's not just the runners, right? I'm assuming it goes for other other buildings. Other structures. I, I guess we'll see. We'll find out. We'll find out. Let's just get some more. Let's get a, bun a bunch of Norps um, that we'll collect. Increase their capacity. Get another Norp. After this, probably want to get the archery range. So we want to get the House of Shards. And then we'll get another runner. And another runner. Because why not? And maybe even buy a another house, maybe? Yeah, we'll buy another house. So you can get a bunch of runners. Maybe even increase their capacity. Or probably want to save up. I'll save up for the archery range. Save up for the archery range. Because, yeah, we need four. So. Should have it soon, though. 
so be happy with. Come on, produce the Norps a little bit faster, please. We need... We, we definitely need some more Norps. There we go. Got some more Norps. Let's see. Do they have inspiration? No, they don't. They don't have inspiration. Hmm. So some of them just don't have inspiration, or I'm confused. This allows you to fine tune your units according to your talent and upgrade choice. And okay. And now I'm, now I'm really confused. Is it just the runners that have inspiration? Uh, are there any? Probably slammers. Slam. You know what? If I had to guess, Slam Club probably does have some inspiration. They. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if the Slam Club actually is the one that has the inspiration as well. As well as the Express. That would, in my mind, that would make sense. This music is so good, though. Let's get the Slam Club. Get them right away. Uh, yeah. Uh, movement speed is doubled. You do three additional preparation jumps. I mean, let's turn off meditation, but we can get some more. Let's get some slammers. I mean, it says their speed is doubled, so I think that's actually going to be pretty, pretty big. And yeah, we're just saving up for fire right now. Probably could have gotten it sooner if I didn't. Actually, I definitely could have gotten it sooner. I didn't buy some of the upgrades I did, but it's fine. Let's get some more slammers. Mainly for the sake that they have inspiration. Um, Rock Analysis Lab will be next. Yeah, I'm, I'm very curious what, um, what structures actually have inspiration and which ones don't. Because, yeah, obviously with the slammers, they do. I mean, it makes sense for the rock analysis lab not to have inspiration, because it, it's just rocks. Um, I don't know. So, yeah, those are, so those are the drones. That I mean, that would be cool. Slammers do three additional preparation jumps. But it also would take away from... It would take a lot away from, like, my, uh, my collection. Because they would be collecting and then just using literally, like, 60% of it as fuel. And that would, yeah, that would definitely take away a lot. So that's why I'm always hesitant on the, um, on the drone thing. Because I have no idea if it's actually worth it. Doesn't really seem like drones are all that worth it to me. Let's see. So we could, yeah, we could do without the Coco Cafe. Let's go with the North Propulsion Lab, and we'll get the 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 bombers going. So yeah, you know what? Let's actually build some more housing. And the bombers are back here. Trigger... Oh, they trigger weak spots? Oh my gosh. Get a pocket rocket. They have a toss the same one to every active mountain here. A pocket rocket. I don't know what that means. 
but we're gonna go for a bunch of mount a uh, bunch of bombers because that because if they if they if it really is they trigger a weak point every single time they hit then oh my gosh oh wait no they just trigger it they don't actually oh okay never mind they're not as good as I thought they were I mean the time the time shift thing is still gonna be very important but it's just not as good as I as I hoped it would So yeah, we'll go with that. Um, let's buy some more housing. The bomber, I mean, the bombers are still good. I think they're most likely the better option than really anything else we have. Mainly because of the time shift thing. Because um, obviously, yeah, the time shift thing affects the, the arrow maker as well. Which is pretty crazy. So we can get more of... We'll, we'll just get fire arrows sending out a lot faster and more often. And Yeah, we have, a, <laughs> we have a bunch of bombers at this point. Oh my gosh. That sounds really weird to say. Yeah, we got a bunch of bombers... Got some, got some bombers incoming. Increase the frequency of the weak points, cause why not? See, so yeah, I didn't quite get that prestige point. Was really hoping that we would, but came close. Bombers weren't, yeah, the bombers didn't perform as well as I would hope they would, but it's fine. Fire's still doing really good, though. 2.94. I'm hoping the bombers will actually be putting in some work, especially when paired up with the... Um, with the archery range. Because, yeah, look how many bombers we have at this point. We got, we got quite a few. And yeah, they definitely don't produce that many shards. Like I said, they're mainly just for buffing the, the archery range. I mean, that's, that's really pretty much it. Is there anything that... Oh yeah, so we could, we could actually go for the Coco Cafe. Um, just because it does provide housing for some Norps. Um, so you know what? Why not go for it? And we, we can go for the the combo chance on those guys. So yeah, let's get that Coco Cafe so we get some more Norps uh, housed. Uh, jump further. One shard of the current tier sent flying. Yeah, I'm I'm telling you, it's like I need I need production. I don't need I don't need mountaineers. I need more production. I need I need them to increase the production. Anything that's going to increase the production of of shards is is what I want. That's that's what I'm going for in this. Um, ice arrows might actually be like ice arrows might be better than I'm giving it credit for, and that's kind of what I'm what I'm kind of worrying about. Okay, so the zignorps. I have no idea what zignorps are. Um, little worried break time might be actually something to go for um we're going to immediately take a break into the next compression event 
I have no idea what the what a compression event is. I have no idea how it works. Um And yeah, they're gonna trigger that. Let's see, let's see. What does break time do? So they're just gonna... Yeah, so they're just gonna chill. While things just build up. What is the compression event? Oh. Scourge when the power grows. Compression and a grant. Increase your tier? Oh. They increase your tier. What does that mean? What happens when my tier gets increased? I don't understand. Uh, what's happening to me? Help. Guys, what's happening? Oh. Oh, we have different colored shards? What is this thing? What is this thing? What is this thing? What is this thing? What if I just leave it alone? The rock fights back. Your power just compressed and now the rock came a mysterious spiky ball. It might be a good idea to build the rock if you haven't already. Um... Uh, and that's gonna cost it. What does the Zebellium do? I don't... What does the Zebellium do? I don't understand. Um... And move, move to attempt collection of it. Oh, <laughs> they're trying. They're attempting to collect it. Here, move. Yeah, move closer. Move closer to the scientists. I'm trying to get you. There you go. There you go. Stay right there. Stay right there. He's just. He's just coming closer. He's just coming to collect you. And he is collecting it. Oh, he's got it. He's got it. He's bringing it back to the lab. I hope. And I can just click as much as I want. Haha, -ha, you can't can't get away from me now. Um, but yeah, so we have pink shards now. Um Yeah. Definitely. You know what? Let's have them take a break. You guys can take a break. Doesn't matter if you get an increase your carrying capacity or not. I just want to get some more prestige points. So you got to drop it in there. Oh, he's lowering it down. Oh. Oh, we got a bunch of buildings unlocked. We have a lot of uncollected shards. Yeah, I mean, we definitely could get another collection event if we wanted to. Um, now shoots rifle bullets. Why not equip the balloon with a gun? There's... Okay. Uh, sure to provide a nice bomb combo or the nice bonus for the slammers During a combo every third hit gets five times damage with a range of meditation Ooh, oh, oh, oh Rocket arrows Come rocket arrows that's from three and here's the range of rockets and talents at one third efficiency and like these areas benefit the most. It's not like being. 
resulting in to the next five damage instances and leave behind no arrows. So I still like I still like the fire though. Um time shift. Yeah, it makes that not so I always not shift back in time after striking this meaning consecutive strike. Get full norp. Oh, 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 do we have a compression event? Or wait, what's happening? Why are things going back in? Oh, are the towers getting too tall? I think things are getting too tall. Uh, okay. Wow, so there are some cool things in this. Like, genuinely cool. Yeah, why are things starting to head back? I don't under I don't fully understand. Like, uh, it, is it genuinely like there's just too much? Is that is that what's happening? Kind of seems like it. I'm not sure. I don't know at this point. Ah, it's that guy shooting. Honestly, we're gonna turn off gun sounds. Uh, does this thing, thing have any? Nope, just, okay. Um, let's get some rifle norps, I guess. Uh. This is able to withstand the heat and knockback of the Gat Gatling gun. Uh. We'll buy that, I guess. I'm kind of thinking of the time shifts. Zig so, Zignorps. I have no idea what that's meant to be. So, yeah, there's still stuff that's getting sent back to the rock. I'm not entirely sure why. Is it is it still because of the compression event thing? I'm assuming it is. Okay, well. Whatever the case may be, um. Um. Ah, so you need fire breath. Ah, okay. Interesting, okay. Oh my gosh. On their seventh combo. I have no idea. Okay, so yeah, it it was just because of the compression event. That's why it that's why that happened. Okay. Um I wish I knew what to do at this point, but cuz I only have one of those things. Um it this the time shift impact. You know what? I'm just going to buy it. It it's what looked the most enticing. So we're going to go for it. Yeah, I mean, the bombers... The, the fire is still, like, putting in so much work. Additional, oh. Oh, okay. I 
I don't know. Do I go for more rifle norps? Do I... I, I guess I... Maybe. Ten... Yeah, that's a little expensive, but... Bombers? I think bombers would... Let's go for a climber. Start digging well at the highest point of the pile. It is crown king and digs. For another coronation to be held, the king will not rest as long as the pile is worthy of climbing. That's interesting. So you need a lot of slammers, though, if you want to go for that, but... We just want bombers. That's all we need right now. Just more and more bombers. I also, I still don't understand what a pocket rocket is supposed to be. Well, I mean, things are going pretty well, I would say. My collection rate is actually really high at this point. Oh, and they they reduce... Okay, so is it more than just... Uh, what was it? Which one was it? Um... All runners, oh, all runners and the arrow maker. Oh, it was runners. I don't know why. I thought it was slammers and arrow makers. I don't know why I thought that, but whatever. We're up to 60,000, though. Honestly, weak point, weak, weak spot, weak spot. Kind of what I'm looking at right now. If we want to go for, like, an expensive upgrade... Uh, or bomber damage. Multiply this by five. Ooh, ow. Yeah, I think ultra boost is actually what we got to go for. But it's really expensive to get more housing. Ooh. Um... Yeah, I mean, we gotta buy the housing, though. Even though it is extremely expensive. Dang. I think we're gonna kind of rely on... Oh, wait, how long has it been? An hour and three minutes? I kind of want to get... I kind of want to get... Where is it? Where is it? Ultra Boost. I, I want to get Ultra Boost before the video's over. Or maybe I should save that for... I'm, I'll save it for the next video. I'll save it for the next video. Yeah, that's what that's what we're going to do. We're going to save... The... Ultra Boost for the next video. So... If you guys enjoyed today's video of the Norp Apple Log, then please... Oh! Whoa. Then please do leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. It means the world to me. It doesn't cost you guys anything. And yeah. My name is Sam, and I hope you guys have a good one. And yeah, see you guys in the next one.